Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from the upcoming 5-Minute Film Festival, which is a uh, project that Iowa Big is involved in. We have uh, with us today two students uh, involved in this program, Anna and Jackson. Welcome to the two of you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you here. Uh, and also... Uh, uh, Nate Pruitt, who is uh, one of the teachers at Iowa Big, and Jason Zbornik, uh, who is with Nexus Entertainment, who has also helped coordinating the Five Minute Film Festival. Gentlemen, welcome. Glad to be here. Yeah, love being here. Uh, hey, before we uh, before we start talking uh, specifically about the Five Minute Film Festival, Nate, I'll start with you okay. since you're faculty at Iowa Big. So, for those who you know who've been away from this for a while or mm -hmm. maybe aren't familiar, uh, tell us to, just to give us the the little short little sure. elevator pitch about what Iowa Big is all about. So, Iowa Big is a program that is shared by uh, College Community School District and Cedar Rapids School District where the kids spend about half of their school day downtown. We're in the Armstrong building downtown where they work with community partners like Jason on actual projects that then eventually uh, take place within our community. Um, and in this particular project, Jason came uh, and I can let you talk about this in a second, but resurrected the five minute film festival that got hit by COVID and these students work with Jason for the last year and they're getting like they're getting their English credit through it and other courses as well um, and then they build this really amazing resume item for their futures and they're in high school so that's kind of what Iowa Big does for the students and for the community partners so the uh, yeah so the the main goal is to get students involved in projects that are you know very much real world situations very much so yeah. absolutely uh, well, Jason, so uh, tell me a little bit about Nexus Entertainment and how the, first of all, the genesis of the Film Fest and then and then what the process was for getting it going again. So again, I am Jason Zbornik. I'm the founder of Nexus Entertainment Arts, and we are a project-based arts organization that started about 20 years ago. Um, working with students in the city, there was a need uh, for that trans those transitional years, like the 15, 16-year-olds to the early 20-year-olds trying to fill that niche for something for them to do, participate in. And so we founded Nexus Entertainment Arts to do projects based on their interests and needs and the things that we saw that were missing in Cedar Rapids. One of those projects that students came up with uh, a few years ago was the Five Minute Film Festival. And it went really well, but COVID kind of wiped us out and we're getting back on the horse again. And we presented this project to Iowa Big and a handful of the students, I think about six of them, uh, came forward uh, and said, hey, this sounds really interesting. And it's been a blast seeing it resurrect and the interest in the city uh, and, and beyond. We have some people that have submitted that are beyond Cedar Rapids even. So it's really gaining some traction and the students have been doing a knockout job. And again, just everything we do is uh, driven by the students uh, at any given time that say this is a project that's important to us and we see it's important to the city. Let's make it happen. Well, I think the title says it all, Five Minute Film Festival. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. so short films, I guess we could insert a joke about our short attention spans. There was a days. lot of reasons for why we chose five minutes, uh, not the least of which we want to make it uh, an event that encourages and inspires people to try their hand at filmmaking. So five minutes is a, a pretty easy thing for most people to grab a hold of and go with. Uh, and you said that you have uh, you solicited uh, films for, to be looked at for mm -hmm. the festival. Mm -hmm. How many did you get? Uh, Jackson, you want to talk to talk to that? Oh, okay. I think you've yeah. been kind of tracking with that. Um, right now we have about, I want to say close to 10 submissions. Nice. And I think our goal is about 20. Um, so we're going to show those in like, what was it, 10 to 15 minute increments. And then there's going to be time for like a QA and a and voting. And then at the end there's going to be like prizes and judging. Um, and we've, yeah. we've got some pretty neat submissions. I think, mm -hmm. didn't we just get one from a seven-year-old? Maybe. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that, so it's kind of it's yeah. neat. It's pretty cool seeing how, like, um, a seven-year-old and then, like, full-grown adults have submitted all to the same project in the same event. Uh, it's it's amazing what we are able to do with technology where a seven-year-old can make a film. Anna, what was it about this project that attracted your interest? Um, so last year I held an event um, with the neighborhood of Wellington Heights. And so we did a Halloween event, and that was really fun to just see the community engagement. 
And so I, I wanted to join this project to have another community outreach event. So. so you're so you're kind of new to the idea of filmmaking and and film shows and things like that. Yeah, I'd never um, been into that area before, but since joining the project, I took interest in like the speech films that have been done um, at the different high schools and just looking at like videos differently, like, oh, that can be turned into something people want to watch. So, uh, Jackson, since uh, you've kind of been in, uh, you know, been coordinating the submissions and things like that. Now, we mentioned age. You've had films ranging from seven year olds of, uh, who have submitted to adults. What are some of the topic areas? Um, you mean for the films? Yeah. Um, we've had anywhere from like one about a mountain, like from Soko. Um, there's one that was from like a doll. Um, I can't remember some of them. <laughs> there was a, a wonderful kind of retro French, uh, what do you call those, self-reflection pieces, black and white, from back in the 50s and 60s. The silent Yeah, well, it's not silent, okay. but it's, it's done in French with um, captions. Um, and it's really... These guys didn't understand it one bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of wasn't it? One isn't a foreign language. But old man, me, I was like, oh, I remember these kind of films from back in the oh, day. Oh, so cinema so, verite and things exactly, like that. Exactly, cinema yeah. verite. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's one of the neat things that was about the five minute film film festival when we we started it and uh, resurrecting it. It's it's happening in even in a bigger way that there's this diversity of films that you come and you're going to just be exposed and experience so many different things. It's really interesting. Uh, now there is a public event, uh, the the uh, the festival where people can can come and see it. Those watching on the video can see the poster, but for those listening on the radio, where and when is that, Anna? Um, it's March sixteenth, so uh, not this Saturday, next Saturday. Well, I guess maybe it would be next <laughs> this Saturday. Um, March sixteenth is March the important 16th, part. March sixteenth, yeah. yeah, at the CSPS building. Um, and it's from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. And so we'll, uh, so you'll show the films where there'll be, will there be a jury process or will people get it, you know, kind of pick their favorite? How's that work? Um, so we'll have audience voting as well as we have celebrity judges that will be there as well. Um, we have three celebrity judges that will be there that will cast their votes as well as the audience will have a chance to vote. Can after you, can each you film, list the three of them and who they, and who they are. Yes, so we have. Well, I don't want to say it, pronounce their name wrong. Um, <laughs> take just take take a whack. Yeah, I, I, we'll I promise they won't be mad. Um, Elizabeth Von Presley, um, Christian Day, and Sean Pryor. Sean Pryor from the Confused Breakfast podcast. Oh, nice. So they're local. Um, celebrities and faces that you might have seen. Yeah, uh, Christian Day is a former Prairie student who is now a filmmaker. Uh, now he's he's filmmaker. he's been on the show before. Oh, has he? Yeah. So he and I are really close. Um, and then Sean Pryor, <laughs> believe it or not, accidentally got on board, and he also was one of my students That's at cool. Prairie back in the day. <laughs> Elizabeth was not one of my students. <laughs> um, Jason mentioned that we've had entries from all over. Jackson, what's the farthest away? Do you know off the top of your head? I don't. Oh. I don't think so. Um, most of the people who have submitted live in the area. Like, sure. they're Cedar Rapids, they're students. Um, there might be a couple coming from Iowa City, like film students. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure on yeah. that, though. Jason, what's the, uh, what are the special kind of skills and techniques to make a short film effective? Um, those those are the judging categories right there. You just uh, um, you know cinematography, editing, acting, lighting, sound composition, um, uh, all all those things go into a great film. Uh, you know, one of the things is uh, in the film community. One of the one of the little jokes is uh, the magic happens in the edit. So you can have a great acting, you can have great music, but once it's all edited together, that's where it all all happens. So those are some of the main things. And those are the ju those are also, ironically, not ironically, the judging categories that uh, people have the opportunity to judge the films on. It's the Five Minute Film Festival coming up on March sixteenth at CSPS. Uh, how do people get tickets? Uh, you can go to CSPS Hall 
dot org and uh, go to the event page and uh, get tickets that way. Or you can go to Nexus Entertainment Arts dot org uh, and click on the Five Minute Film Festival and access the tickets uh, at that site. And if you're lucky enough to find one of these really amazing posters that one of our students made, uh, there's a QR code on them too that you can also reserve. Um, for tickets for the yes day. yeah it is, it is a great looking poster um, okay well before we go so Anna and Jackson this is since this is a school thing tell me one thing you've learned in uh, in working on this event uh, Anna you go first um okay so I learned uh, just how much goes into events um, so my last event we kind of piggybacked on another um, event community event that was happening in the area and we just made it bigger but some of the stuff I didn't realize was the amount of like marketing that goes into it. Um, just all the different posters that have been made by Cole. Um, and just how much you have to spread the word to, to have a new event. Jackson, how about you? Um, that kind of similar to what Anna said, like having to spread the word. Um, like none of this would have happened unless myself and others like put in the effort and like tried to get people to help us and donate and um, give us time to do this event. And then, like, if we just, like, rolled over and didn't really try and get any help, then nothing really would have happened. I'm glad you said that, Jackson, because I think one of my favorite parts about the projects and things at Iowa Big is learning that you can do amazing things now that matter and impact your community. You don't have to wait for five more years to get through a – a degree or things if you've got the passion and the desire you guys can do amazing things now and you guys are doing it man you're really doing it to add to that um and and maddie nailed it like i was driving here for this interview and thinking it took eight it's taking eight people to make this come back to life i mean we've got maddie and riley who were on the project at first we got uh cole Isaac, uh, Jackson and Anna who are here, Nate, uh, and that, that doesn't even, you know, account for all the sponsors and people that have come behind it and said, this is important. So pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It's the five minute film festival, CSPS hall on the 16th of March. You can go to cspshall.org for tickets. Or again, Jason mentioned your, uh, Nexus website again, Nexus entertainment arts.org. All right. Well, good luck with it. I hope you get a bunch more entries and have a great time on the 16th. Thanks thanks so much for being with me today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. You can hear The Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 1030 or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or using your favorite podcast app. Our producer is Lydia Kilgore. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.